<laughs> hey guys, the Feather Boba here, and this is Update 60 Overview, and a quick guide on how to get the chainsaw, a new weapon slash tool. I will put a link in the description and comment on where this location is if you're unsure. Next to the sinkhole, next to the land bridge that heads towards the mountain. We head down the rope, and another one right after it. And be careful, don't fall off, these are quite far. And you can jump on this one into the water, but it's not necessary and it's a little dangerous if you miss. But go ahead and head down there. You don't need the rebreather. The light will point you in the right direction. If you're concerned though, rebreather would definitely help. A nether rope, but this one has babies down below. Uh, you could throw a dynamite down there and probably take them all out really easily. They do die in one hit, but they, um, they also hit pretty hard, so be careful. Make sure to take them out quickly. And there you are. This is, is really easy to find. There's a chainsaw and there's two jerry cans nearby. As you see, they they do pretty good damage. They attack quite quickly, can stun lock some enemies. Um, but it has a very narrow attack range. Also, as we cut down trees, first it's very fast. I think it's a better tool than it is a uh, weapon. But the bar at the bottom will represent how much fuel you have left. And just by a couple of trees, we're about a quarter. So you will have to stock up on jerry cans, uh, but they do respawn. I did a test on that real quick. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I took it, I saved, I came back, there it was again. So it's not too bad to find them. I didn't find this ad in the game, but I did find it in the file, so uh, <laughs> here's a cool ad. It's only $600, no, Canadian dollars. There is a change to the integrity of objects, so now they have, <laughs> except this one seemingly, uh, but now they have a more resemblance to what they're made out of the fence. So for example, those stick structures, super, super weak, including the fence. Eight hits is what I counted to uh, blow up the first one, not total there. And then on the bone fence, it was 12 hits. Rock wall was 20. I wish it didn't move like that. It looks a little weird, but the breaking is still awesome. I love the breaking animation. 16 hits for the normal wood wall that we're all building with probably. This is your custom wood wall. However, the defensive wall is 39 now. So if you weren't using it before because there wasn't too big of a difference, now now it's something. You might actually want to use your defensive walls. Keeping in mind, you can also reinforce them to make them even better. But this is just to show you that like it's, it's quite different now. <laughs> the new bar that they have for the fuel is also the bar that they use for water, uh, not water breathing, da da da, <laughs> holding your breath. It does take a second for it to start moving, I'm not sure what that's about, um, maybe just, just how it works. Love the cute little bubbles. One of the things that I do test out is, um, what it, obviously what it looks like at the end, but also I was curious if the air breaths restarted. I didn't really pay attention before, but now it's so obvious. I was like, oh yeah, there you go. It does. Second you go up, it restarts. The smoke particle effect on s some objects has been changed from that white gray smoke to more of a brown woody particle effect. There is a new loading. So you actually know where you are now, which is kind of cool. You can see if you're stuck or or not. Like, ooh, ooh, took a moment right there. R. R is the problem child. But it's good again. And they did add more multiplayer clothing. Um, unfortunately, the more clothing they add, the more variations happen. The more difficult it is to see those variations. Because it's just, you know, random. Um... But they did add more clothing, so you, more chance to look different. And a few things I wanted to go over in the patch notes themselves to really point out. Uh, first, they made the top edge of the sinkhole a little bit less slippery, so um, if you fell in before, it should be a little bit harder to fall in now. Uh, it's never happened to me, but 
I don't play around the edge that often, I guess. Autosave is now only active if there are players connected to the server, so it's not sitting there saving no changes. Autosave is triggered when the last player leaves as well, so no matter what, it doesn't have to wait. Uh, the autosave time is set to 15 minutes minimum and default at 30 minutes. Dedicated servers, this is the big one. Dedicated servers can now be downloaded, installed, and launched without the Steam client. See no Steam client parameter. Uh, if you watch my other guide, I, I go over that. They also have their own guide if you want to follow that. My guide kind of just parallels with them, uh, taking points from that and just showing it visually. But that parameter is like the dedicated that you were using before. So that that's a, that's a big change that, that's really helpful. Um, because a lot of people are having problems with that. There is a first pass to the translation system. Right now, it only includes the French language. However, they've made it so you can work on it and they're going to add some official translations later. So that's pretty cool. If you're a French speaker, that's awesome. You got, you got some French language translation in there. Let me know what it's like. And you here got the added jacket, hoodie, open shirt, closed shirt, clothing variations. Um, and again, the more clothing they add, the more I just have to sit there and like kill myself. If <laughs> if people want to volunteer and be testing guinea pigs, let me know because I didn't see anybody up that really liked doing that stuff with me at the moment when I was doing this. Uh, I can put you in the list of guinea pigs, but yeah, it's, it's just killing yourself at this point. And the last thing I really wanted to mention was the duplicate axe in Cave 7, the modern axe, it's no longer in Cave 7. So um, you have to go through the treasure trove cave that I called it before, Cave 2. If you're not familiar with that one, uh, card top right, description, I'll put a link in there and you can see how to get the modern axe the only way now as the other method has been removed. Well, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Update 60, and specifically the chainsaw. I think that's a, quite an interesting one. I was not expecting. If you're not familiar with Kratoverse, it's a game that I just started playing, and I think it's pretty interesting. It has a lot of features that I didn't expect that we will uh, we'll go over as we play it. Uh, it definitely has that iceberg feeling, where at first glance it might be, you, know, you get that Minecraft feel. But I've seen a few videos since just trying to improve my own play when I do a, more episodes in the future. And there's there's definitely more beneath the surface. Like I, I saw this really cool feature where you can rotate blocks in place, making some really cool designs. Definitely check that out if you like those kind of uh, voxel-based games. Hope everybody has an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Thank you so much, and take care.